Held at gunpoint in front of his Middletown home tonight, a local pastor is speaking out as one of the latest of the city's carjacking victims. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here on the night team. I'm Shay McAllister. Police arrested 18 year old Ethan Maddox, connecting him to multiple carjackings, including the pastor. During the interrogation, police say Maddox attempted to his part in a murder from last year. It's new information coming out tonight as the pastor tells us he's thankful for his life. After a long day at church, Pastor Larry Sykes got out of his car and started walking towards his Middletown apartment. I was walking towards the door. I heard his footsteps pick up. And so I turned around and looked behind me. Um, I thought maybe it was somebody wanted me to hold the door or something. But then I turned and saw his pistol pointing in my face. A surreal moment for the former Louisville pastor who now leads Clay Street Baptist Church in Shelbyville. And he says, your keys and your phone, that's all I want is your keys and your phone. Of course, I didn't argue with him, uh, so I immediately handed him my keys and my phone. Sykes says he tried to reason with the 18 year old suspect. I was saying, bro, please, please just stop. Just please, you can still stop. Um, but of course he didn't. Ethan Maddox got away with his phone and his Jeep, and then a neighbor called police. It happened last Saturday, less than 24 hours later. Police say the suspect was at it again, accused of holding another person at gunpoint in the parking lot of the Louisville Athletic Club off Westport Road in St. Matthews. The images still stay with you. You know, every time you close your eyes, you see the gun in that face, and then you began to think of what could have happened. Days passed, Sykes saying the traumatic event replaying in his mind until police were able to activate a tracking device inside his car. And that's when I believe they tracked it to Lake Dreamland, to the residence um, where they eventually found it, and the guy who uh, I'm so grateful uh, that they found him as well. The father and husband thankful police have found the culprit and thankful for his life. The pastor says police took custody of his car for fingerprints. He's able to get it back now, but he's not so sure he wants it, not knowing what the suspect did while he had it for the last week. As for that suspect, he is facing charges of murder and robbery.